As far south on the Mississippi as you can possibly go lies Port Eads, Louisiana. Legend has it, this is the red fishing capital of the world, and I'm here to find out for myself. For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. The South Pass of the Mississippi. Here, highways are replaced by a maze of waterways, and time just seems to slow down a little. It's a destination you should immediately add to your bucket list. It seems like God took just a little more time creating this place. Ooh, Martin, throw open that hole right there. Can you pitch it in there? I'm gonna try to. Oh, perfect. Perfect. How about that, Jimmy? Perfect. How's my future looking right now, Bubba? Oh, yeah. I might have a career at this. Take my job. Nature has a distinct way of humbling us. Oh, oh, oh. oh that did not just happen. <laughs> I got it. Uh, edit that one, okay? Everybody. Actually, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jimmy. What do you think about those cat-like reflexes I just displayed? <laughs> that was pretty quick. Embarrassing. <laughs> Even Herschel and Bo fumbled every now and then, right? At least that's what I was telling myself. Once I got the turnovers under control, the fishing got better, and I started to consider Cajun pride. There comes that weather. And like the Lord's mad at somebody. The Lord's just up there laughing at me. Give it a hard pull, straight up, hard pull. Hey, Marty, okay. got one. Got him. Tell him to get in the boat. Get in the boat. <laughs> Yeah, That's man, a good boy. One. Woo -hoo. Woo! Jimmy, you might know what you're talking about, brother. You see how his tail's purple, kind yeah. of bluish? Yeah. That means he's excited. Oh. That means he's gonna eat and he's excited. And you know why the spots on the tail? Why? That makes it look like their eye. A fish has to eat another fish head first because of its dorsal fin. If he eats it butt first, this is gonna get stuck in his gills and it's gonna kill him. So they think that's their eye, the shark attacks their tail, and then they harp swim away. So it's a defense mechanism. That's the only defense it has in life, is wow. that spot on its tail. There he went. Ah, good. he went. He's off. Excellent. There we go. Jimmy, when you're out here, how does it make you feel? What's it mean to you to be out on the water like this? It makes you feel good that taking people that's never done this before, are catching fish, hopefully they'll get into the boating world, and take their kids fishing more often. And you take a kid hunting and fishing, you know, keep them out of trouble. Jimmy's love for this area and for the Cajun lifestyle runs deep. This was apparent as he explained how a bug called a scale has invaded and is severely threatening their marshland. It came in off a cargo ship and it's ruining our marsh. And it's a real problem. And it's a real problem. We're losing land every year, and this is because of it. How long ago did that happen? They, we just found out about it two years ago. And now the, the fishing game is trying to get a grip on it. The Louisiana Department is trying to get a, get, uh, a grip on it to see what they can do. But the way it's so embedded underneath the difficult foliage of it. Combat, yeah, difficult to combat it since it's already so um, advanced. In it, yeah, and, and you can't spray it because you know, it'd have to be, I mean, really drenched with it for it to do any, anything. But you can see how it's just taken over this poor piece of cane. It's a shame. Is this something Louisianans do from birth, basically? Yes, sir. The uh, true Cajuns will fish five, six days a week, and on Sunday, take the whole family out on a boat and spend Sunday with the family. After church, naturally. After church, of course. Spend a day on a boat. And thank God for everything he's given us. The requisites to be a Cajun, red fishing, hanging with your family, church on Sunday, and LSU football. Yes, sir, on Saturday. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a big one, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, look at that bag. Yeah, boys. Don't smile too much, Marty. You might have to put sunscreen on your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's part angler, part meteorologist, part ship captain, full-time comedian. <laughs> you gotta be able to tell jokes when the fishing's slow. What an amazing time. Excellent, thank you for coming again. I learned so much and I appreciate not only your insight about the fishing aspect of it, but why it's so important to this region to spend time red fishing. Yes, sir. They call Port Eads the end of the world. And yeah, the truth is, it's way out there. But sometimes in this life, to grow and learn, it's important to extend ourselves beyond our normal. And when we look back, there's beauty in the journey. <laughs>